Yo guys, you guys definitely gotta check this car out. So I was around town, right? And well, like on Forza, that's what I mean by around town. But definitely, I started working on this McLaren, and man, this thing is nasty. Like it's on a whole another level of the of a description. It has this crazy top end. Plus, it accelerates like you know the roller coaster at Universal. That's called the Hulk, the Incredible Hulk coaster. Yeah, it accelerates like that, like zero to sixty in like t two seconds. Like, it's insane, and this thing is just jumpy as hell too. I've been playing around with it around here and been taking some serious hits. Oh, I didn't make it. Damn. But no, it's been fun. Look at that lop. Oh man, we barely landed it. <laughs> but yeah, this car and it's very controllable. I like it. This is one indeed an old timer that that nobody has really paid attention to anymore. But it's funny though because it can pretty much still so this day being over 20 years old hold again itself against so many cars it's like this car was built literally to last at least 30 to 40 years minimum before it becomes outdated and usually cars are usually outdated in a couple years now like the bugatti like it only had a rain for what maybe like five six years this car has had rain for like 20 plus years almost and it's probably gonna go at least to 40 if anything but yeah like and I like the the three-seater option thing yeah that's that's pretty cool but anyway let me show you the ludicrous speed that this car does All right, I'm gonna take the jump right now at this crazy speed it's just rocketing right through that to that speedometer and the big jump holy moly yo we got a lot of air i don't think i've ever taken that much air before from a car this one really took me up there i was really high and really long i don't think it broke my record but definitely that was a very long hop you guys should definitely go check out that ramp anyway let's try it right here for fun let's see what this little thing does right here clip and man, we're flying across the airway. Literally, literally jumped over the entire landing strip. I like this airport. <laughs> it's got some cool ramps. What I don't get is how come it doesn't have like another landing strip? This maybe must be for like small planes, I guess. That's why. Alright, here we go for another one. Oh my god. There goes the world. So definitely, I've been playing around with this car. And yeah, this car is really fun. Um, I had done a, a Lamborghini Diablo earlier that car was as fun as this one these are old-timer cars I'm not gonna lie for being really old they hold themselves really good the Lamborghini was quicker not faster because they top out at the same speed but definitely quicker how would this car do on the salt flats just like it's a little fun run hmm well, the only way to know is to test it. I mean, it's raining, so, like, it's gonna lose traction. I already know that. You guys definitely have to try this car. Love this car. This is one fun car. Now, before I let you guys go, you know how I am. I gotta hit a top end on this car. And if it's not on the soft flats, it's definitely gonna be on the most favorite expressway. No, it looks like this car is not going to turn. Oh my god. Anyway. Let's go to the big stuff. The numbers. Now, I've been trying to look for cars that are possible of doing 270 or higher. Because believe it or not, there are cars that can do 269. But just won't do that 270. And... I just been looking and I think I found another one. Besides finding that Diablo, that Diablo really hit me. I would have never thought. This one I 
I already knew. He had the title for the world's fastest car for like, what, 15 years, 20 years almost? I don't even know how long it was. I don't think 20 years, maybe like a little more between 10 and 15, I guess. Yeah, that's more than enough to know that it's gonna, you know. What other car also had that title? I think the Ferrari F40. I think it was a, or, or it held the title for the first car to go over 200 miles per hour. That was legal production, I think. Yeah. But this car, look, look at this. It's just, and it keeps going. And it keeps going. No, it's very dangerous. It's very wobbly. And I feel like if there is a car that gets in my way, that's it. Here we go. Top end. 271 271 just like the Bugatti that I did earlier if you guys are wondering go check out that video if you want um but yeah so that's what I'm bringing you guys today I'm trying to give you guys a heads up to check out this car it's definitely one of my favorite cars now so it's that Diablo that one really hit me but I like this green as well a nice looking car and that three seater option is cool i know this car is worth like 30 million dollars <laughs> in real life so what's even the point of even thinking about it but anyway what can you do this is forza they let you dream the cars you'll never probably have i'm just kidding you guys probably can whatever you guys do in life but <laughs> i'm out guys i'll see you guys in the next one peace